In the bottom left of Heavy Rain Ladder Edition, we have in green, it is our Terran player at the moment, Quasar's Pranef. Top left of the map, we have his Protoss opponent, also a viewer of his stream. It is the Protoss player in the blue. I am I, go, go, go. Where have I seen that icon before? This clan tag, I've seen it somewhere. I was looking at random Masters games the other day on GG Tracker. Someone mm -hmm. had this clan tag. I am I, huh? Yeah, I gotta. Oh, I gotta look it up now. Gotta know. I must know. It's gonna bother you all night. <laughs> oh, it's gonna bother me all night, and I'm not gonna be able to check for a while. So, yeah, anyway, got some kind of conversation going on here. So it would be so mad if you can't rush me, said Prinef. And he's like, I don't know how to get and rush Darren. Yeah, his yeah, map isn't good for it. <laughs> I have it vetoed. And then Goku goes, like, I don't. So, <laughs> So first things first, Probe is here early enough to potentially start this, but a gateway goes down. There's nothing crazy going on. Damn it. I'd find it hilarious if he did put a pylon down just to scare him, though. But Damn no, it. it doesn't look like he's going to do that. <laughs> I'm upset. Oh, Gas being mined fairly early, but there's a proxied barracks out here. Go, 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 saying so meta. I think he, he knows that something's being hidden. There's no reason. You can't grab the gas that early and actually do anything with it unless the barracks is building. So, yeah. There's definitely a barracks somewhere. There's the second one. I guess the only thing you could do with it is if you put down an engineering bay and then one for planetary fortress. But it, it would be way too late to actually get it there in time because you need to lift off immediately, more or less. Yeah, he, he would know it's up by the time he's halfway across the map, so... He's checking for that proxy, too. He knows something's wrong. I like this positioning from Prinef. This isn't such an out-of-the-way location on his side of the map. There's no way he's going to look for it. <laughs> mm. Well, sticking his tongue out. I think he knows what's happening. Prinef has been uh, basically the choice of build that he's embraced from while playing as Terran has been mass reapers. And as you can see, Go 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 is looking for the reapers. <laughs> One is being made. He's also gone double gas, though. Interesting. You know, I don't know the ins and outs of this build. Do you think he actually needs all that to produce all the... The gas? The possible? I, I think so, especially if he's... It looks like he's dropping a reactor on this barracks, so he wants to get as many as possible. I think he's just stockpiling in advance. Yeah, both, uh, both barracks now have reactors on them, or are constructing them. In before eight Reapers. Looking at Gogo's... Go, go, go's base. He has just put down Twilight Council, so he definitely suspects Reapers. He wants to get Blink Tech. Uh, Blink Stalkers actually counter this pretty hard because they don't die. They just they have so much more survivability than the Reapers. So not only that, this... um, I don't think Reapers do very much versus armor, do they? No. Uh, I mean, just in general, they do base four damage with two attacks. So once you throw armored in there, it's basically going to cut their damage potential down to like maybe 75 50% especially if a grade is researched. Mm -hmm. So that's it's pretty rough, but uh, yeah, he's definitely doing it. He's basically just saying, "You know what? If you make a mistake, I'm going to kill you." <laughs> Goku goes like, "Yep." ZRQ asks, "Why is Printf suddenly Terran?" Printf is Reapers. suddenly Terran because he wanted to play Mass Reapers. Because Reapers. That's He sent me that email. He's like, "I'm going to play Terran from now on." He said, and also, ironically enough, people get more angry at me for this than they did for cannons. <laughs> On the ladder. That's a fun fact right there. If you want to cause rage, this is a good way to do it, apparently. Anyway, two stalkers nicely positioned here. That blink started. Five Reapers. Does five Reapers beat that? It might. No, not if they run to that. So he's just going to run past and start offing workers. Oh, I okay. okay, okay. Ooh, trapped Ooh, the nice three Reapers trap. in there. Very good. I just killed five workers with that, only got away with a single Reaper, though. Yeah. Pretty rough losses. A very dead single Reaper. Uh, he'll fix that in his own bit. Poor probe. Wait, we're just gonna let it live. Okay. Ooh. Ah, you guys can spawn down here. Now, this is really good for Prinef. If he can actually kill 
Um, this reinforcement pylon, let's isolate these stalkers and kill them off one by one before they can get really large numbers. Yeah, that's a lot, buddy. Because he's proxied a barracks somewhere with a reactor on it. <laughs> uh, rehactor. Rehactor. He's Re hacking. <laughs> Rehairball. <laughs> unfortunately, -E unfortunately for Prunef, Blem. there is a proxy pylon sitting in his natural that he doesn't know about. And every single Protoss watching right now goes hee 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 The hee hee lizard. Oh, nice positioning. Picks off a stalker for free right there. There's another couple Reapers moving around the back. Some more stalkers coming in the warp in here. This is such a great angle for this engagement. Holy crap. It's to just attack from the high ground, and there's really no way he can do anything about that. Wow. <laughs> oh, our Reapers so good. <laughs> Well, you're in a ditch. And uh, basically, it's like yeah. giving them free blink all the time. He, uh, I think Printf planned on Heavy Rain as well. Nice move, I must say. Like, this has been really well done. Also, decent control, even with blink in there. He's forced to bring that one stalker back. Nice blinking, though. Holy crap. Very good, yes. Ooh, blink forward. Those both have two health. Jeez. Nice catch, very nice catch. Meanwhile, Stalker warped in back uh, over in front of space. Mm, got one worker. He's fighting two Reapers now. To kill one of them, but he's not going to get out of there without. Uh... Ooh, maybe he might. Oh, that one Reaper at the front is damaged? Oh, okay, he lives. Should do something about that pylon, though. Yeah, I think he still doesn't know it's there, so maybe he gathered that that Stalker just kind of walked its way into his base. So, you know, looking at this. Is this enough, you think? These stalkers? That might be enough. I think so, as long as he doesn't get caught down in the middle of that map again. That, that jumping. He's going up on straight the cliff. for that. Unfortunately, no Brynep is letting him engage in a nice area. There we go. That's exactly where he wants to fight. Link forward, now he has the high ground. Reapers are getting the hell out of there. <laughs> Back home, Brynep has thrown down a factory. Looks like he's gonna switch tech on him. Widow mines. I bet you. Oh, lucky he doesn't swing down there and see that barracks. Oh, oh it's letting him blink on top. Very, very nice. I've said this in the past, that blinking forward is usually something you don't want to do, just because it's an all-in maneuver. But in this situation, he knows he can beat that army in a straight-up fight, so blinking on top of it just makes him stronger. Right. By the way, planetary fortresses are good against stalkers, and they're good against a lot of things. Let's put it bluntly. So, uh... Ooh. If Gogogo tries to engage in here, he's going to take pretty massive losses, but it looks like he's content to just stay on the outside and contain him for a second. Oh, nope, he's going to go try and blink into the main. Doesn't have anything flying, though. Ah, Mothership Core. On here the way. Go. En route, nearly there. Plenty of Reapers to back this up, however. Oh, two Reapers coming from the side. They have betrayed the location. Is he even going to bother about it? He actually might not. Picking up the proxy pylon up here. More reinforcements. Goes down. More reinforcements, but here comes that mothership core. As soon as that's here. Nine vision is less than 13, but it's still enough to do this, guys. And here he goes. And... And time. Up. Here we go. Barracks number one. He's gonna fall. He's going to lose the factory. These oh, reapers oh. are completely bypassing the army. Ooh, he's gonna force a trade. Base trade attempt. This, I think, can work out fairly well um, for Prinef, if he can get a building to escape in the corner. Looks like he's just going to bring it over to the planetary. This is a nice move. The planetary gives him a lot of like, jibbity against this army. Longevity, longevity, with hell. Anyway, <laughs> uh, Reaper's in the base. Three Marines and a lot of probes are not going to do much to that. So he's going to probably lose all of his workers here, unless he's really lucky. Or recalls back home. In fact, he is not doing that. He is gathering up behind the mothership core now. He's taking care of the factory. And uh, most of the probes are dead now. All of them have gone down, in fact. Uh, Krenef still has an economy and GoGoGo -Go doesn't. That may be the ending story of this. Powering down one of the gateways as well. Very, very important at this point. Now there's a lot of the stalkers back home, though, so he's going to be forcing Krenef to back out. GoGoGo mm, -Go is going back home. Barracks are peppering the map now, landing here and there. So unfortunate reality of this situation is that, uh, yeah, 
I mean, it, like, even though Gogogo -Go -Go is in kind of a really awkward spot here, he still does have this really large army of stalkers. And he did gut the tech tree a little bit for uh, Printf there. He's back down to barracks tech, doesn't have the uh, factory he was moving up into. Right. So, it looks actually, like his response is to go to Marines, I think. Two, uh, two Widow Mines did complete, but they've been picked off immediately. Nice maneuver, getting around the back of the planetary fortress, stealing this barracks back here. Forcing these Reapers back with all these Stalkers. This is a very nice game so far, actually done by both. Last time uh, last time we had this match between the two, it was kind of... It felt kind of one-sided. This does not feel one-sided. This felt, feels like two guys armed to the teeth. Ooh, no cancel on that barracks. And it's just focusing on the micro battle up here against these stalkers. Yep. And Mini engagement. Two reapers away. Looks like nope. They die. More on the way. Right now, go 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 can only warp in two things at a time, but he doesn't have the economy for even one. So it may as well be that he just doesn't have anything at all here. Stalker's gonna blink up to no, they cannot. There is no high ground vision. So these stalker, these uh, workers are just going to nom nom nom. <laughs> Unfortunately, Roll them to death. <laughs> really big losses here. But again, given that his opponent's down below starting worker supply, this isn't exactly necessarily the worst thing in the world. Uh, it might be, though, once the rest of these stalkers get here. Mothership Corps is up on the high ground still. And now he's going to go back. Now, unfortunately, the Mothership Corps can actually get in here completely unhindered. There is no anti air at all. Luckily for Printf, it seems that GoGoGo hasn't put that together yet. Uh, but he can deny mining, can't he? There's there's really nothing he can do. He does right. have a 2,000 mineral bank, though. So These Reapers are coming around for another pass, though, at the worker line, these uh, six workers. Unfortunately for Gogogo, -Go, his entire army is completely out of position. These three Stalkers will not defend against this. If the Reaper army going joins together first, then, ah, okay, they're not going to do that. It does kill one Stalker without it being blinked. It looks like Gogogo uh, -Go -Go is being a little overtaxed here. Second one goes down, the third is trying to hide. Uh, Gogogo -Go -Go has recalled the Mothership Corps without any of the units. Throwing down the Photon of Overcharge, and the Reapers are going to get out of there. But he's reduced his opponent back down to zero workers, and we have kind of a stalemate situation, economically anyway. These Stalkers can get behind the line anytime they want. Delay mining, there's nothing that he can do to stop that from happening, though, except that Gogo's -Go APM doesn't seem like it's going to allow him to do it. Ah, he's just going to run back. Okay. There's now a decent number of Reapers back here, so he has to pull back and uh, defend against this. Even though uh, the Fulton Arbor Charger is there, he can still engage from outside this area, just like uh, Gogogo was doing against the Planetary. Right. Not to mention... <laughs> Flying Fortress, Hidden Command Center. <laughs> Flying Fortress, yes. <laughs> Two things that don't happen, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> So even an inefficient trade like this is technically okay here. You know, his opponent has no uh, economy. If you just keep whittling down the stalker numbers, eventually Gogogo -Go -Go will be defenseless. This game. This game. I know, right, man? This is just going to show you that just because you got a build counter to somebody, just because you got a build counter doesn't mean you got the game. This is true. <laughs> Well, there are a total of uh, three Reapers on the map and six Stalkers right now. Although Mothership three are pretty produced. It looks like Gogo -Go has determined the Mothership cores are good against things that don't shoot up. As all flying units tend to be. Very good. Can Except just, for uh... Phoenixes. It's kind of mixed <laughs> thing, Phoenixes. He can definitely camp over this base, though, and just... Yep, he's going to be like, hey, what's the position? <laughs> this is perfect. Now this is really, really good for Gogo, -Go -Go, but uh, it's gonna take forever to build. <laughs> <laughs> this is terrible. Yeah, he can't. Hero well, Mothership Core here. I guess he can just sort of. But even put then, that up there the mining time that's lost here. It's it's totally fine. Like the important thing is the gas income, and the ironically enough, he still has enough workers to keep that up. So even though he has hurt his mineral income, that doesn't matter. It's fine. So and that actually doesn't do anything really important unless Pranef forgets to put his workers back in gas. Then he can't build any reapers for a while. Oof. Go go go! By the way, Pretty these uh, stalkers here. are going to find this. Like, wait a minute. 
Oh, come on, it's already a planetary. <laughs> <laughs> These Reapers are too many. <laughs> yep. It's finally reached the point where he can't replenish his uh, supply at all. That's these three uh, supply workers, I mean. The Reapers finally hit so many. How can you afford? I have bad macro. <laughs> I picked up with my thousand points. <laughs> so the bank Sometimes. gas does come into play then. <laughs> GG, well played. Nice game from Pernef. Really nice. It's good for both of them, really. Uh, Constant, non-stop action. Just a typical, typical cheesy game, but.